Check it out. That right there is the inside of a Soundstream Goliath Tarantula Triple X 6500. Bad mother right there. Woo! Oh man. I'm so glad to be going back to my roots. I think every subwoofer guy likes to go back to his roots once in a while. From what I started with. Um, this thing is, is badass. Um, it's got a zero gauge. Sorry, I got my toolbox out because I took the bottom out. Zero gauge, power and ground. Um, uh, online it says four gauge going into the speakers. But it looks like eight gauge would fit right in there. And the remote. And over here you got um, your your uh, your levels, your subsonic, your bass boost. Sorry, I know you can't read it because it ain't real clear. Uh, remote, which I will be ordering. Um, low pass, phase shift, and you can uh, actually um, run a data link and like strap it. Strap it. Sounds awesome. And run it in slave or master. Um, obviously, I'm going to be running it in master. But uh, you just never know what's going to happen one day. Uh, but um, I'm like so excited about this. Uh, I'm going to um, um, call a, uh, uh, my amp fixer guy uh, down the road. I'll probably call him um, next Friday and um, get this bad boy up and running. And order me a remote for it, so I can uh, turn the turn it up and down with the remote gain. And uh, here's the old Goliath Tarantula Triple X from the side, 6500. Looking looks absolutely amazing, uh, amazing. Um, these amps aren't cheap. Um, even though this amp doesn't work. It, who knows what it would go for? I mean, they, they, these suckers go for like uh, uh, about 1,200 bucks online, brand new, of course. Who knows what a blown one would go for? They, and they just uh, Roland and uh, Mickey just sent this to me. Uh, M5 speed, Mickey Mouse. I gotta give you hell. It's all Roland's fault. But um, this is this is like the coolest freaking thing ever, ever anybody sent to me uh, I got my wife uh, sent to town uh, getting me some acetone um, so I can rub down my car I gotta rub, uh, rub it all down and um, get it ready for um, some sound deadening I'm gonna be uh, ordering and putting all on it so I can uh, get the inside put together and get it legal for street street class street division um, but uh, yeah Oh hey, uh, um, do you guys think I should go ahead and stick with the uh, do 10 gauge uh, on my speakers? Like uh, you know, you know, uh, I was you said just to solder them and do the direct line, and you said do 10 gauge, and this thing takes takes 8 gauge. Should I still stick with the uh, the 10 gauge or or move up to 8 gauge and solder that to my speakers? And just just make the speaker wires bigger, because uh, I have eight gauge. I got plenty of eight gauge wire laying around. Ten gauge I don't, but uh, I got like eight gauge power wire. But um, uh, do me a favor and let me know about that so I can uh, get that rocking maybe. But uh, man, these guys are awesome. This is freaking awesome, amazing. I got a freaking 6,500 watt amp sitting in my house, and it's gonna be banging in my uh, in my Civic. And uh, it's and this sucker's heavy, man. It's like forty pounds. Uh, yeah. Thank you. You guys are something, something else. Uh, I also gotta say, um, uh, Roland, Mickey, if there's anything I can do for you guys, let me know. Um. I, I don't know. I want. I want to throw that out there because I owe you guys big for this one. Um, 
I'll uh, I'll do my best to get my Civic as loud and as hard as I can. I'm sure my Ground Zero is gonna love this thing. But uh, yeah, I'd throw that in there, man. If you guys, if there's anything I can do, man, just let me know. Uh, don't worry, you'll you'll. I always put all my updates on YouTube, so yeah. Awesome, freak, awesome, man. God, iron. Whew.